Hello, students. This is Miss Mishu, and here is some information regarding your understanding payroll and W-2s assignment. Please open these assignments, and let's get started. Here's an example of a pay stub. So here are some questions related to this pay stub to make sure you understand what the information is and where to find it. Number one, who is the employee? So who is this um, check written out to? John Smith, right up here. Question two, what does SSN stand for? Social Security number. How often does this person get paid? Look up here. That's going to be bi-weekly beginning 614 and ending 627. If you count that actual day as 614, it's two weeks. Remember, that's every other week. So if you get paid bi-weekly, you, you get paid uh, 26 times in a year. Okay, here we go. What is the check number? It's 1005, 1005 right here, check number. What is this person's gross pay? This is before deductions are taken out. $2,756.92, right there. What is this person's net pay? $1,808.15, right there. How much was withdrawn for federal income tax? So let's take a look at all the deductions. It will be a hundred and, um, nope, 400, I'm sorry, $428.93. What percent of this person's gross pay was deducted for federal income tax? So you want to take the actual amount of federal income tax and divide it by the gross pay. So 428.93 divided by $2,576.92 is equal to 0.166, which is 16.6%. How much was withdrawn for Social Security? $159.77. What percent of this person's gross pay was deducted for Social Security? So you want to take the actual amount and divide it by $2,576.92. And that's equal to 0 0.062, which is 6.2% which checks out because that's what we've been talking about in class. Number 11, how much was withdrawn for Medicare? $37.37. What percent of this person's gross pay was deducted for Medicare? So you're gonna take the actual amount withdrawn and divide it by the gross pay, $37.37. Divided by $2,576.92 is equal to 0 0.0145, which is 1.45%. Again, this is the amount we've, we've been saying that is withdrawn from Medicare, so it checks out. Question 13, how much was withdrawn for state income tax? $142.70. What percent of this person's gross pay was deducted for state income tax? $142.70 divided by $2576.92. Do that on your calculator. It's 0 0.055, which is 5.5%. Question 15, were there any other deductions? So they're listed here, but there's no amounts. So the answer is no. 
16, what is the total amount of all deductions? We need to add all of these up. 428, 93, 159, 77, 37, 37, 142, 70. Please do this math yourself. Should equal $768.77. Question 17, what does YTD stand for? Year to date. What does filing status mean? So that's the marital status plus the number of withholding allowances. So in this case, it's S1. You're single and you claim one. Withholding allowance. Now remember, withholding allowance is the number of people you're financially responsible for. What if that was M4? What would that stand for? M4. You're married, the M, and you claim for withholding allowances. So maybe you claim your spouse and you have two kids. So you claim yourself, your spouse, and the two kids. So M4, filing status. Number 19, what is the grand total of all deductions for the year? So we need the YTD, you're going to add those up. And that's $1,537.54. Another way to do it is to figure out your gross pay here, $5,153.84 minus your net pay, and that will give you your deductions. So either way, adding these up will add up to that, or you take your gross pay minus your net pay, um, and you're going to end up with deductions. And what is a 401k? That is a retirement plan. Okay. Um, in many instances in a 401k, the employer will match dollar for dollar or sometimes 50 cents to the dollar. So, for example, if you put in $50 every paycheck, they'll also put in $50. That's dollar for dollar. Or if you put in $50, they put in $25. Uh, that's 50 cents to the dollar, so they do half, okay? So very important to get involved in a 401k um, if it is offered as soon as possible. Let's move on to the Understanding W-2s assignment. And here's an example of a W-2 form, and you'll get this but in the mail by the end of January. So you can do your taxes on time. So a form that states how much money you earned and how much was taken out for taxes is called a Form W-2. Number two, by law, the above form must be sent to every employee by the end of January. Number three, the W-2 form is used to fill out your what, which are due by when. So it's used to fill out your income tax return, and it's due by April 15. Oops, let's just go back for a second. Hmm. Okay, we'll move forward. Uh, what is the employee's name on this? It is the big company right here. What is the employee's name? Jane A. Doe. What is the employee's social security number? It's listed right up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm sure somebody has that for a social security number. How much money did the employee make? Uh, this is going to be the social security wages. The difference here is how much somebody gets in some sort of retirement plan. So that is used with pre-tax dollars. So it's actually 50000 And how much was withdrawn for federal income tax? That'll be 6835 That's in this box right here. How much was withdrawn for state income tax? That's going to be in this box down here, box 17. 
$1,535. How much was withdrawn from Medicare? That's going to be $725. What percent of your total pay was deducted from Medicare? So you want to take the $725 and divide it by the $50 grand. It's going to be 0 0.0145, which is 1.45%. How much was withdrawn for Social Security? You're going to take the $3,100. What percent of your total pay was deducted for Social Security? You should know what this should be, right? It should be 6.2%. So 3,100 divided by 50 grand is equal to 0 0.062, which is 6.2%. Hopefully you understand this. Please submit this on Google Classroom. Reach out if you have any questions. Have a great day.